Hey guys, what's going on? I am George and this is You Wanna Watch. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a stitch horse. It's for leather working. It's got a nice little wooden vise on there for holding the leather, pulling it tight. Um, it's in relatively fair shape, I would say. Um, the legs definitely need to be resupported. Um, I gotta reprofile the edges. They're pretty rough. It looks like somebody used it as a saw horse. But um, other than that, we're gonna take this thing apart. We're gonna give it a real good sanding, get it all nice and smooth. And uh, we also need to fix a substantial crack that runs down this leg right here. Uh, I got some bow ties and we're gonna inlay those. So I say without any further ado, we jump right into it. Let's go. Alright, so maybe our best bet would be try and take the vise off first. It should just unscrew it. I've had this kicking around the shop for so long, I don't even know where to begin with it. I'll spin this around so I can see what I'm doing. don't want to hurt this thing at all. nasties in there look at that this is what I was talking about about the it's basically wooden dowels that have been hammered in in lieu of nails or anything else so in fairly good shape figure this out. Is it wedged in there? That definitely looks like a wedge. Looks like there's a pin, a dowel running across the bottom. Which way does it come out though? There's the wooden dowel for that. So it looks like there's a wedge. There's multiple wedges. Keep tapping it back and forth this way, see if I can. Loosen it up more. Got that wedge out. Get my damn chisel back. Right. I'll just think we only got one more wedge to go. There is a wedge right here. Oh shit. Looks like somebody drove some nails in it. That blows. Not supposed to be any nails in this. 
So I got a, um, a 10 inch Buck Brothers hacksaw blade and I'm attempting to slip it behind here. Looks like there's one tack. all it was was one little tack one little tack holding that thing so <coughs> okay <laughs> so the rest of the vice is off there um, not sure how this oh does it just screw in or is it pressed? There we go. Look at that. That took some effort, but the screw came out. Okay. That's in fairly good shape, too. Okay. So next it looks like we've got to take these wedges that are in the legs. Take those out. Well, might not have to. to do anything to the legs other than clean them up a little bit all right so the first thing I'm going to do is um, just lightly hit these legs they're in really good shape um, somebody used you know a spoke shaver or a draw knife to get the facets in there I don't want to take those out so what I'm going to do is just uh, lightly sand on this to get the dust and dirt off and we're going to stain these up with some natural 209. know what I'm going for here going for the natural look this wood's super dry so I'm gonna put it on pretty damn thick I'm gonna try and stay away from where it's gonna be mounted through You can see, darkened it up a lot. That's good. <clears throat> and I'm just going to continue on with the rest of these.
All right, so I'm going to set these over there so they can dry up, and uh, we'll start on the vise itself. Now, I'm not going to stain the vise. All I'm going to do to the vise is wax it. I don't want the screw to swell up. And I love the way the wood looks in this. And if I sand on it, I'm going to lose all the oils and stuff from people using it. So I want to try and keep that. Both sides, of course, you know. The nut. Okay, that's primitive, isn't it? That's awesome. Alright, so let me go and find some good wax for it. Not bad. You can see all the facet marks on there, inside and out. Oh, I'm liking this. Liking this a lot. Okay. It was absolutely perfect. So this is the pin that goes through there, along with my two wedges. Keep those off to the side because I still have a whole lot of work to do on this top. So while I'm still waiting on those legs to dry and I'm waiting on the glue to dry on this, I clean up a little bit of my mess here and we will pick this up first thing in the morning. Alrighty, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bow tie right here where this crack is. Um, I got these bow ties from my buddy Steve. I'll put his info right here so you guys can see that. Um, 
Thanks again, Steve, for jumping on this right away for me, dude. I truly, truly appreciate it. So I want to trace this out. Oh yeah, I can see that. Cool. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is um, put a bow tie in here, stop that cracking. Somebody before drilled two holes and put two dowels in here running into the crack. Um, I'm sure that's going to be fine, but I just want to do what I can to uh, ensure that this won't go nowhere. So that's what we're going to do. Let me put these extra bow ties away. I got another project for these. There we go. There we go. It's all traced out. That bow tie will drop right in there. It'll be plenty tight enough. So all I have to do is just keep whacking at it, scraping it out, whack at it, scrape it out. And uh, once I get it down deep enough, I can glue it in, plane it off, and that'll be that. So we will pick this back up tomorrow morning. I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, so fast forward several days and I'm just now getting back into the shop. We have had horrible, horrible weather. Uh, we had a snow squall move in, well snowstorm, which laid down several inches of snow in our area. So we had first storm, that laid about, I don't know, two inches, two and a half inches of snow. And then a couple of days later, another storm that laid down a few inches of snow. So for my job, Part of our contract is to make sure that uh, the snow is cleared from the roads, parking lots, stuff of that nature. So I had to go and do my duty. It was uh, quite a long time of plowing, but we're past that now and we're back into the shop. So, I gotta notch this out for this bow tie.
So the first thing I'm going to do, get a clamp on that little piece of wood right there. Because that's going to stay right there. Then I'm going to tool off as much of the glue as I got excess on there. I mean, it doesn't really matter because when I'm planning this off, that's all going to come off with it. So, but I do want as much of that off there as possible. There it is. So I'm sure whenever I put the stain on this, wherever there was oils or anything else, it's going to show up darker. I'm totally cool with that. I was trying to continue on with the rustic look. And I think I'm going to achieve it. So. Take a lot of stain because this thing's bone dry. I gotta scrape the excess glue off of where I put the bow tie. piece of axe handle, drive this wedge down. That's nice. I'm going to use it down here to drive it up. Oh yeah, that's tight. Then we got our little dowel here that runs straight through the middle. Start again.
Alrighty guys, well we are all done with the Leather Workers Stitch Horse. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. It came out pretty good, not too bad. Um, like always guys, stay safe, be safe. We'll see you next week with another. Bye.